Hello folks <clears throat> and welcome to another revision video another one in this series this one continuing with chapter 3 the in, uh, investments and loans uh, this particular one is focusing on the short answer questions the first four of them that's on page um, 139 of the textbook feel free to pause the video and have a go yourself uh, before I do them. Okay, so these uh, four uh, relate to the future value formula, which is the same as the um, compound interest formula. FV is short for future value and PV present value. And then there's the present value formula, which is just this one rearranged. Um, present value is basically what it says in this question down here. The sum of money that someone would need to invest now to get to the total by the end of the time period. That's present value and the future value is the end amount after the investment is finished. So question one is uh, future value, so we're focusing on this formula. Uh, let's have a look. So the present value is 920, so all we do is just putting values in here that it tells us here. So future value is uh, present value 920, bracket, one plus the rate, Come, yep, 5%. And it's very important to pay attention um, at the time period the interest is compounded because that influences the formula. And time period is four years, so it's to the power of four. So fairly straightforward one to start with. Let's find our calculator. So 920 bracket times one plus the rate, 5%. Close a bracket to the power of 4. After 4 years, we have an investment worth, future value of 1,000. Okay, it's gone. I think it was 1,118. Yep, dollars 27 to the nearest cent. So this is there. To the nearest cent, dollar twenty-seven. Okay, next one. Same thing. Sub in. So future value. This one. The present value is twenty-one hundred. One plus three years, six point one percent per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so we're going to do a adjustment. Six point one percent compounded monthly which means it's one twelfth of the yearly one. So we make it a fraction over 12. So that will be the monthly compound interest rate when you do that, which is what we want because it's compounded monthly and that's the yearly percent. So yearly divided by 12 is the monthly one and three years, so we're going to turn that into months as well. So three years monthly is... 36 months. There we are. So the adjustments when it's compounded are, are different to the yearly. You would have adjust it twice. Once to divide it so you get the right rate and then the number of years is multiplied by 12. So what's that equal? 2100 times 1 plus then we do our fraction, 6.1%, and that's over 12, 12 for 12 months, bracket, and then the time periods is 36, 36 time, oh, let's try that again, it's better, 36, 36 months in three years, that's three years, isn't it, yep. That will give us 
and a value of 2520 dollars 54 cents after three years okay number two this time we're going to find the present value so we're going to use this formula which is just rearranging that one so let's sub in future value f is that's the amount that we end up with so we're going to find out how much we need to invest now to get to 26,000 in three years. On the bottom is the one plus the rate. What's the rate? 4.9% per annum years, that's all good. 4.9%. I'm just going to bring that along to the power of three. Three time periods, three years. Okay, on a calculator, 26,000 over 1 plus 4.9 percent, close the bracket to the power of 3, 22,524 and 7 cents. So if we want to get to 26,000 in three years at that percent, we've got to invest that now, the present value. Okay, next one. Finding the present value still, so the future value is 10,000. So we want to get to 10,400 in next certain amount of time. How many? Five years. Compounded quarterly for five years. Okay, compounded, that's yearly, so we're going to do some adjustments. One plus the 9%. And because 9% is yearly, and this is compounded quarterly, which is four times a year, we're going to divide that by four. And compounded quarterly in five years, four times a year times five is... 20 time periods, 20 quarters in five years. Okay. So, future value, what we want to get to, 1 plus, then another fraction, 9% compounded quarterly, so f over four, f four quarters in a year. And for five years at four quarters in a year, that's 20 time periods. 6,664 dollars 49. Six, three sixes, dollars 49. Invested now at that rate, we'll get you to 10,400 in five years. Okay, number three. Let's move down a little bit. Again, this is a present value, the way the question is worded. Present value question. So we're still on this formula. We want to get to 200,000 in 10 years. What do we need to invest now? So the present value, which is what we want to know, we want to invest now. So we've got the 200,000 over 1 plus 12% per annum compounded by annually, twice a year. So that divided by 2. 12%, which is actually 6%, but I'll put it there just so you can see. By annually is twice a year, so the percent every time you it's compounded is half of the 12%. And how many years? 10 years. So 10 years or twice a year is 20 time periods, 20 lots of biannual. Okay, let's move this over. 200,000. 
one plus another fraction, 12% over two, <coughs> close the bracket, and 10 years at twice a year is 20 time periods. Okay, we've got an answer. There's 62,360 and 95 cents. That's the amount we need to invest now at that rate. In 10 years, you want to get to 200,000. Okay, number four. Investment is appreciating at a rate of 4% of its value each year. Ruby decides to invest 480000 What's the value of investment after 10 years? So it's fairly straightforward. This one's uh, that's the present value. We want the future value this time. So the future value is the current investment. 1 plus the rate, which is 4% per year. 4% and 10 time periods for 10 years. 480,000. That's right. Bracket. 1 plus the 4%. Close the bracket to the power of 10 for the 10 years. And that is 70, 710,000, 517 dollars, 20, no, nearest dollar. Oh, there's it, that's it. 710,517 to the nearest dollar. Done. And how much does the investment increase? That is a simple matter of finding the difference between what you started with and what you got now. So we'll do the 710, 517 minus what you started with. The difference between them is how much it's increased. Two hundred and thirty seven two hundred and thirty thousand five hundred and seventeen to the nearest dollar. Two three zero five one seven. That's the increase over the ten years from where you started to what it is now. Thanks everyone.